I get out of the house, I touch grass and it's already hot and I'm sweating. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. All right guys, welcome back to today's video. We are going to three Dog. barn- Dog! Oh my god, you're coming! <laughs> okay, so like I was saying, we are going to three different Barnes and Nobles in today's video. There's a lot of shopping. See you on the road. And just like that, I find myself on the road again, driving into Burbank, California to our first stop here at Barnes and Noble. Okay, it's like 90 plus degrees right now. It's probably like 95 degrees. What do you want to drink? Oh, it's so freaking hot. Oh my God, it's hot. Okay, think about the manga. Think about the manga. Okay, and welcome to our first stop of the day. Now, this is a Barnes & Noble in Burbank, California. We've been here before. If you've seen any of my vlogs, we've been here before because this one is a favorite of mine. We're gonna start off small. This is the smallest Barnes & Noble we're gonna be in today's video, and the locations are gonna get progressively larger and nicer. But this is, like I mentioned before, a favorite of mine because it's just so utterly chill. So without further ado, let's go. This one's so quiet today. Remember, we're not gonna get any more BL until you've read the ones you already have. Yes, nod, <laughs> nod. <laughs> A few moments later. Oh my God, I need these. These are mine, you can't stop me. Bruh. Okay, so while we are shopping, this is the entire manga section. It starts from over there in the corner. It's gonna loop all the way around. So behind you, there's a giant wall right here, all right here, and it's gonna loop all the way to here. And then the wall that we initially saw, which is on the other side of this, which has all of the light novels and the manga. What am I, th what am, what am I thinking? Yeah, I can get volume two, we're good. And I can continue reading this because now I have volumes one and two. Okay, cool. Now I need to find three. Oh, speaking of volume three, look, they have volume three of Yokohama Kadashi Kiku. This one's actually really good. Uh, I think I bought volume two here last time, actually. Here, oh, they have volume two of uh, Yokohama Kadashi Kiku. In fact, I'm gonna snag this one for myself. This is a really good series. Now, wherever there is a manga shopping adventure, there is a manga shopping list. And I am currently on the hunt for volume one of Akane Benashi. They have a whole blam set up too. I love this. I'm a huge fan of Nihei. And I'm a big fan of Knights of Sidonia. They do have, they have Chojin X Volume 3. Okay, I'm gonna nap this one. Dude, we are on a roll today. This one's great. Okay, cool. Very good. Look, they even have March Comes In Like a Lion. This is really cool seeing this in stores, actually. For those of you that don't know, this is probably in my top five favorite series of all time. Really good read, highly recommend it. The anime, really good as well. Yeah. Dude. Noragami is another one I wanna read, like all the way. I think it's ending soon. I think I heard it was ending soon. Guatamote. Oh my God, look, they have Lupin. The class. <laughs> When did this come out? Growing up, bookstores were always a safe space to just sort of zone out and read. I mean, I don't know. There's something about being alone in the manga section and having it all to yourself and sort of just leisurely browsing the aisles. Smaller bookstores just like this location have their own appeal that I very much like. But however, like I mentioned before, we're gonna go check out several rather large Barnes and Nobles location which have their own magic.
Yo, what is this? What is noise by Nihei? Oh wow, so this is set 3,000 years before Blam. I'm gonna get this. This one right here. I haven't touched it, I haven't even read it, but I just heard, just, it's cute. Nichi Joe, I really want one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that all of Nichi Joe? Oh look, there it is. We found it. There it is, after all this time. Oh, Carnabinoshi. Finally, I've been waiting for this to come out physically for such a long time. Guys, if you haven't, if you haven't heard of this one, this is the one to get right now. I think it came out early August, which shows you we haven't been vlogging in a minute. Um, but yeah, huge fan of this one. They have, volume nine is already out? Okay, we gotta get it. Okay, wow, so stop two of the night. We are in Glendale, California, and we are going to the second biggest Barnes & Noble that I know, which is at the Americana. It is three big floors and one of the biggest manga sections I have ever seen in Southern California. So we'll see you over inside, let's go. big this manga section is so we have the light novels that are over here like this has a whole section look from all the way over there to, to literally right here and this is they have like box sets uh, and stuff as well but this has the light novels themselves have a whole section and this is where the fun really begins as you can see all of this and everything on this side going all the way back to here this is the manga section. This is crazy how much is here. Oh, they even replaced a bench with chairs here. I could, we could spend forever just browsing. You have no, it's hard to put into perspective or in words how many volumes is here. You could literally spend hours and people do just browsing and reading. And they even put chairs there to encourage reading and chilling. Look, it's very rare to see one and two and I yeah. think it's because of like the Netflix adaptation that's coming out. People are gonna want to check it out, but you almost never see because like it's gonna jump from ones to like, 103. Oh wow, dude! Gear fifth. This is on my to read list actually. I, I own it. It's a really good. It's like the whole story of how Gundam was created, like all the way dating back to the 70s, I think. Gundam. It, Gundam. There's so much. There's so much. Dude, I'll let you go through I, I can't believe I, I met someone that watches this channel that works yeah, here. It's so, fun. How do you like working at Barnes & Noble, man? That's chill. Meet Daniel. And this is one of the reasons why I love going out and vlogging, is getting a chance to meet you guys. So we got to hang and talk to Daniel a little bit, but he also let me write one of the descriptions for one of the manga, which you'll see in just a minute. Um, this is by far like the busiest oh. Barnes & Noble. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's pretty busy. Around. Mm -hmm. What would you say is like, how do you guys decide what goes in such a big section? Is it like how do you how do you gauge consumer demand basically? We'll order a few, and then if like if they sell quickly, then we'll definitely like order a lot more. Um, but otherwise, we'll just keep it at low numbers. Sometimes if uh, they just stay at not selling, then we'll just like take them off. So you control the selection.
Okay, we're going to Japan soon, and Sakura Co. and Tokyo Treat just sent us some snacks to weather out the storm. As Tropical Storm Hillary bears down. Now the theme for Sakura Co. this month is Autumn Moon Festival. In here is up to 20 Japanese authentic traditional snacks, and my favorite part about Sakura Co. is that they support local Japanese snack makers. Uh, try the usagi marshmallow. Okay. No, 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 no. I, I want, I want to eat those. <laughs> right, let's do something else. Chocolate cream Danish. You love Danish. Danish. Where is it? Oh, big bed. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Give me a coffee. What else is in here? Oh, did you tell them about the tableware item? The freaking tableware item. Yes. Okay. So Sakura Co. Every month you get a new tableware item, and this month is Tsukimi dish. Tsukimi dish. Okay. Tsukimi dish. Oh, it's clay. I think. Okay. All right. We're moving on to Tokyo Treat now. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack box, and much like Sakura Co., there is up to twenty snacks directly imported here from Japan. Do I want to try this? Do I want to try the potato chips? Do I want what? What even is this? What is this? Uh, Pickled daikon potato chips. Full moon rice crackers. Oh, yeah. Rip it up from the top. Okay. Oh, there's. Whoa, 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 whoa. I got it. Yeah. Reflexes. Got it. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Crunchy. Now, of course, I will link both Tokyo Treat and Sakura Code down below in the description box in case you guys want to try a little taste of Japan in the convenience of your home. Now, back to the video. Now, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, I was given the opportunity to write the little descriptions that you see in bookstores right below the series. So of course I chose Doro Hidoro. Horrible handwriting too. I feel like I'd want to do- try your best. I feel like it could go right here. <laughs> what, what did you write? A post-apocalyptic cyberpunk, cyberpunk mystery masterpiece. Nikaido and Kaiman are the iconic duo solving the mystery of Kaiman's reptilian head by hunting down sorcerers. Gorgeous art, amazing cast of characters, and the series finishes in 23 volumes. Season two, please Mappa. <laughs> Okay, so the manga section here in Glendale at the Americana, it's massive. I can't even begin to tell you just how different it feels in person than just what it looks like while editing this video. It's it's so big, there's so much manga. I highly recommend stopping by if you have the chance. And Daniel, of course, if you're watching this, it was a pleasure meeting you. Guys, I had a lot of fun here. I can't wait to go to the next one. Like the last Barnes and Noble that we went to last night, this Barnes and Noble is also three floors, but there is a bit of controversy surrounding the remodel for this Barnes and Noble. Now, like I mentioned in the car right over here, I have not been here in a long time, and this is Michelle's first time in Beverly Hills, let alone the Grove. So we're gonna investigate the new remodel, see our own thoughts on the matter, and go manga shopping at one of the nicest Barnes and Nobles in the country.
this is the remodel. Look, there's no spines. They're all putting their, I don't know if I like it, it feels like an airport. Look. There's no carpet. As you can see, a lot of the books are turned so that the the front covers are taking up more of the space here. I don't know how I feel about this. It feels like an airport. Now, welcome to the Barnes & Noble in Beverly Hills at The Grove. And if you wanted to find the manga section, you would walk in through the front door and make your way to the third floor like we are doing now. It's hard to put into words just how big this store really is. Even the third floor, we were just lost trying to find the manga section. And the manga section is huge. It's probably one of the biggest display sections or just sections in general in the entire store store and it's very obvious boom oh buy all paperback buy oh it's bogo today interesting okay so it starts here comes all the way to here let's see if it's on the other side oh it's all of this <laughs> yeah I was like, okay, this is look. not it so it continues then around the corner here all of this and coming along this side of the wall too. Okay, so yeah, this is massive. Okay, I was like tripping out because I was like, how could it be that small of a section? But no, yeah, okay. Well, maybe not this one, but it's, a fi it's fine. I haven't even started it. No, don't get it. Maybe later. <laughs> no, don't get it. It's the maybe, maybe later. Maybe later. <laughs> they're replacing all of the carpet to like this corporate gray as opposed to like the iconic Barnes & Noble green. Okay, okay, this Barnes & Noble really surprised me. Not only is there an entire light novel section like the one we previously visited, but there is like three to four distinct locations for manga. It almost seems like manga sort of spread out like all over the place on the third floor, but I don't know, there's so much. You could spend all, I've said this so many times in today's video, you can spend all day shopping here and I freaking love it. With oat milk, yeah. And then uh, a cookie, the ch uh, chocolate chip, chocolate chip. So in today's video, I've taken you to three different Barnes & Noble locations. We've spent a couple hundred dollars on manga and I've had an absolute joy of a time. However, we are not quite done yet. I have one last announcement that I've been keeping a secret for quite a while as I've been working on it in the shadows, but I finally have my first ever merch drop. Now, if you're watching this video, you probably did not know about the merch drop, but Discord, those guys knew, and a few of you have already put in some orders, and I'm already, that's a very humbling experience, but I've gotten to see your reaction of when you guys get your clothes or when you get your printed frame. And that right there is probably one of the best feelings you could probably get as a creator. I don't know, it's hard for me to put this into, into words, but like, it's kind of like a, a big deal, I guess, or a milestone for a creator for their first merch drop. And I wanted to make sure I did it right. So I wanted to spend a lot of time on making stuff that I was really proud of, down to the fabric and the designs. Now, this shirt right here, I don't know if you can see it, but this shirt right here is called The Reader. So anyways, 
Links down below. Go ahead, check out the shop and let me know your thoughts.